I'm here with Diana Steelman. Now, Diana is the director of the Matt Gardner Homestead here in Giles County, and we're going to be talking about a partnership that's going on here in town um, with the Martin Methodist College. So, Diana, tell me a little bit about this partnership. Well, about um, three years ago, I started working closely with Carla Jones, who is the great-granddaughter of Matt Gardner. Matt Gardner was a freed slave who was a big instigator, per se, to uh, getting the school started in Giles County for the African Americans. And um, he was also a uh, preacher and a farmer. And we were invited um, a couple years ago to go to a Tennessee Association of Museums conference, TAM conference is what I refer to it a lot as. Mm -hmm. um, and at this conference, we found out about this great exhibit, the We Shall Not Be Moved. And with Giles County's past history and our history of today, we thought it'd be a great way to tie this history in with that and show everyone that Giles County can work together and that a lot of things that's happened in the past are helping us change our future mm -hmm. and make it much more brighter um, in, the, in the lives of our children and our children's children. That's wonderful. Okay, and also joining us is Bernice Davidson. Now, she is the um, Director of Arts, uh, the Professor of Arts here at Martin Methodist College, and you are doing well today? Yes, thank you, Tammy. Doing great, All and right. uh, we want to, uh, of course, welcome uh, Graham and this wonderful exhibit. We've been looking forward to this for uh, over a year now, and um, we are here at the Barton Art Gallery in the Galt Fine Arts Center, which is a, a, a brand new facility. We've been open for two years, and um, we try to have shows that um, expand people's minds and knowledge uh, about our history and about arts, and so we're very excited to uh, partner with Matt Garner Museum and the Tennessee State Museum to have this wonderful exhibit. All right, thank you so much. And this is, of course, Graham Perry. And Graham, tell me what your title is and how you came to be a part of this. Well, I'm the Curator of Social History at the Tennessee State Museum, and uh, that's in, located in Nashville. We are the state's museum, so please come visit us when you're in Nashville. Uh, this exhibit got started. We wanted to do an exhibit to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the sit-ins in Tennessee, which, which took place in 1960, but they also uh, kept going through 1964. Um, the thing that's important about the sit-in movement is, is uh, it was brought about by young people. Mm -hmm. They were definitely influenced by the larger civil rights movement and uh, you know, led by Martin Luther King Jr. However, uh, these young people wanted to do their parts and uh, these were college students and then later high school students. Some high school students started off, but uh, it was all about empowerment and to try to overthrow segregation, mm -hmm. which was uh, slow in coming, even though there were some laws that were changing things in the state of Tennessee. Uh, the very important thing about the Nashville students in particular, but also the students all over the state, is uh, the model that came about in Nashville was the model that was referred to by other sit-ins throughout the Southeast. And um, the students went on to do other things, uh, voter registration drives, many of them, including uh, one became a U.S. congressman. Um, so Tennessee was a very important location. And I also would like to say, being at Martin Methodist College, that Reverend Lawson, who uh, was the man who helped put a lot of the early sit-ins together, uh, with Reverend Kelly Miller Smith was a Methodist minister. So very nice. Well, this is a beautiful exhibit. We're watching it be erected today. And Diana, tell me, we have an open house for this or a, a grand opening for that. When would that be? Um, the the exhibit actually opens uh, October 25th through December the 6th, but we will be having a grand opening, and we'll have some speakers, some music, and uh, get to meet and be a part of the actual. Uh, people who are part, who have been a part of this in the past and who are also relatives of the Matt Gardner Homestead. And that is uh, November the 7th at seven o'clock. Everyone come out and join us. We'll have refreshments. It'd be a great way to, to pull the whole community together and show our support and let everybody know that this was a time for change, which became a big change for Giles County. Very good. All right. This partnership is a great partnership. Um, the history here is, is power packed. Folks, come out and see this, uh, young and old, all ages. This is a beautiful exhibit, and we thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.